Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. <clears throat> we are playing a Thelid Fire Elementalist of Fedhas. We just finished up the lair, so uh, have we done... Mm, we've only done Dungeon 10, right? So we basically go to Orc, or do another level or two of Dungeon. And I think I will take another level two or two of Dungeon first. Um, that reminds me, Fireball... Well... Fireball used to be pretty good for Orc when there were a ton of really weak Orcs. Now that there's like more, you know, a smaller number of more powerful Orcs, maybe it's not so good anymore. I'm not sure. Ow. Hydras are still uh, rude. And I'll just run away until he burns to death, right? Yes, phew. I was getting a little worried there. Uh, but, uh, you know, we played chicken and we won. That's how, that's how crawl is played. Just, uh, you know, don't, 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 uh, I don't know. Obviously that's the wrong way to play crawl. I was trying to come up with something that was suitably obviously ironic, uh, and I couldn't really get there. Um, one of these has to be teleport, right? This one? No. We haven't found teleport yet, right? Yeah, we haven't. All right. Did I see something weird on this list? Yeah, oh, just rings of ice we're not picking up anymore. Sure. All right, back down we go. I bet I could tab this guy, but uh, there's really no reason to. Oh, I guess the other thing is we haven't even found orc, so we kind of can't go there yet. Uh, follow me down this way, guys. There's uh, the water's fine. Come on in. Uh, the priest is by far the most dangerous thing around, so let's just bop him on the head. Yeah, down he goes. And there's a centaur coming, which I don't like at all either. Mm, let's go back this way. All right, mushrooms are killing them, and then a mushroom died. Like I don't know. Yeah, okay, there go all my mushrooms. So it's just me now. That's what I get. I can't leave them alone. They're no longer so powerful that they can just handle the entire dungeon by themselves. Or rather, the dungeon is now powerful enough that they can no longer do that. Yeah, I can't even make any mushrooms right now. That's a little bit scary. Um, but I think it's fine. Uh, we'll eat this royal jelly and prey on this guy. Fedhas is a little disappointed, which I can understand. We do, uh, we're leaning on him quite a lot. Well, of course he doesn't have a gender right, it's it, but uh, we're leaning on Fedhas a lot. Uh, but it's sort of nice to be able to use pronouns in general, so, you know, even though the gods don't have a gender, you gotta pick some pronoun to use for them, and I'm not like super into the gender neutral pronouns, uh, or gender ambiguous, or like whatever they are. Um, yeah, there are some people who like them, and like, I don't know, if you know someone who would like to be referred to with such a pronoun, you should probably learn what it is. But uh, the crawl gods, um, I really don't care what they want. <laughs> Sorry, Fedhas, no offense. Okay. Ooh, wow, they snuck up on me. They, uh, well, not snuck up on me, but they, uh, they snuck around me, I guess. They cornered me a bit. Come on, I'm trying to set one of the other guys on Sticky Flame, please. Yeah, let's get this one. The Yak stops burning. Disappointing. Let's just, uh, fireball it all. Wow, fireball, like, real good. Stops burning already. That's rude. Firewall does a lot of damage, um, it seems like. More than I really expected. Uh, it's been a while since I played a character who used Fireball. Oops, I kind of meant to butcher that. Oh well. 
Uh, one of the reasons that I started this character as a fire elementalist was because I've it's been a while since I've used like primarily spells to kill things, uh, and I just wanted to give uh, to do that again because it's fun. Like my first my first win ever um, was a deep elf fire elementalist, um, a Vayamet, of course. You know, if you were gonna pick a character or a god, oh stop. Draining me, you jerk. Aren't you on fire? I don't know. If you're going to pick a character for a new player... Well, not a character. Uh, where was I going with this? If you said, I'm a new player, and I'm going to play a Deep Elf Fire Elementalist. Uh, well, so what I, I don't mean to say that necessarily Vehemet is the best god for that. What I do mean is that it's the god that the new player would think of. Right, which is not the same thing at all. I think Vayamet is fine for that, but um, I don't know. Is that what I would pick these days? If I find Vayamet altar early, sure. Um, but there's lots of other choices I would consider now. Um, Ash would be excellent, top of the line. Mockleb would be good. Um, Rue would be pretty good also. Kybriados. Yeah, I have fun with Kybriados. I don't know if he would be good for a Deep Elf on a uh, Fire Elementalist, but he'd be fine. Um, Elivalon, sure, I guess. Kiku would be excellent. So I would, I would probably pick the first of like that list of gods that I happen to find. Uh, but I think back then, you know, before I had ever won the game at all, I really was like, I'm going to play a Deep Elf uh, of Vehemet, and like, that was the plan. I just waited until I found a Vehemet altar, and, you know, uh, I think less experienced players do that all the time. I certainly did. Um, and I think some, like I mentioned in a previous uh, series that like I was surprised that not all experienced players have the same opinion about gods as I do. I think a lot of them do, um, but you know, which is to say, you know, when you really need help is in the early game. So if you find a god who is at all reasonable, it's better to take him now and have like a mediocre god for like depths. Uh, but a great god early than it is to have no god at all early and then die before you can get to the great god for depths. Um, oh, sheep. Sheep uh, are uh, flammable. They, um, or fire is contagious, I guess, for sheep. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They're, uh, they're all on fire. They're adorable. Um... But as I mentioned in, in, like I was saying, a previous uh, playthrough, ZXC um, tends to be so confident in his early game that um, he's perfectly willing to delay choosing a god until he gets the one he wants for that character and is confident that he'll survive long enough to do that. Um, I'm not. I think if I waited for a god, I might very well. I mean, I think on average, I would usually probably be fine, but um, it's easier to die in the early game than it is to die in the late game, really. Um, wow, there's a lot of damage. And so uh, I would rather optimize my god choice for helping me survive the early game than the late game. Is this guy still on fire? He's not. All right, let's blow him up. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. So, like, that's that's why we took Fedhas and why we've been just chewing through his piety so fast. Eventually, our character won't need a lot of help from Fedhas, and that'll be nice. 
Um, and even, you know, we did basically this entire floor without Fedhas, but um, that was sort of an easy floor uh, because... What in the world? I've seen this vault like once before, but man, there's a lot of zombies and ghosts. Why? Like this isn't this is the entrance to orc. That's why there's so many orc zombies. But like a, a hungry ghost, a manticore. This doesn't make any sense. What is this junk? Um. Well, you know what? Let's set this hound on fire and conjure a flame here. The zombies will all be perfectly happy to step on it. In fact, let's put another one here. And I'll put one here. There you go. Come on in, guys. The water is fine. And another five. Uh, well, miscast that. Can I do something about this Magicor? I don't really like him that much. I'm going to back off. We'll approach this some other way. Oh, the Manticore's on fire. That's pretty nice. Let's um, let's take advantage of that, uh, if we can, by putting down another fire for him to step on. Uh, what next? What can we do that would be useful? I'd like to take care of the Manticore without getting killed, <laughs> uh, if possible. Right now, there's a zombie in between me and him, which... I mean, it is a troll zombie, so you want to be a little careful, but... All right, so now I think I'll try out this Lamp of Fire. Just like that. Put down some very brief flame clouds under him. Didn't work quite as I wanted. He The fire did indeed go under him, which was great, but he just moved. Uh, however, it did enough damage that I think Fireball ought to finish him off. It did. Great. Um, and we're just going to go upstairs now. Cool. That was, uh, that was effective. That's, you kind of, I don't know. That's almost like an iconic Fire Elementalist combat. It's just like, set the world on fire and let, let the Inferno sort itself out. This uh, guy will not stop burning, or he won't burn to death. There we go. I was just uh, I was trying to say a thing, and then I read what was on the screen instead of saying what I wanted. You know that happens. Uh, let's do this. Just conjure a flame. Sure. All right, so this is a bit maybe too aggressive now that I think about it. So Manticore can do a lot of damage to us. Uh, and maybe without without any mushrooms around, Sticky Flame might not kill him quickly enough for my comfort. He might very well He might very well uh, get some lucky hits to get through our dodge uh, our evasion. Um, what to do about that? Well, I think that a Wand of Lightning is at least uh, going to be productive. Wait a minute. Why is Autozap... Shouldn't, um... Shouldn't the Autozap targeter point it here? That should be a double zap, right? And they... Yeah. Alright, he's severely wounded. Oh my word. Uh, so now... We could do that again, or we could try a Fireball. I think a fireball is like a it's a guaranteed hit, and I think it's likely to kill him. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go for that. Yes, we got him, but that didn't feel at all comfortable. It was not the right way to handle that combat. Okay, well, we'll rest up. And of course, as you noticed, I felt that I needed some more. Uh, some more escorts. I'm just uh, navigating these guys to make them stay in the fires. Sure, great. 
Uh, how's dodging? Dodge evasion at 32 is good. I don't know. I'm like feeling, do I need more, more fighting? Can I stop invocations? I don't really know the answer to any of these questions. We'll just set this guy on fire, as we always do for zombies. Um, you can really get a lot of fire for them when they're um, when they're both standing in fire and on fire. Um, and it's it's hard to get monsters other than zombies and skeletons to walk into fire, but zombies and skeletons have no self-preservation instincts at all, so it's pretty easy. Ooh, they snuck up behind me. Let's get out of here. Can't comfortably sticky flame, or can't, can't very usefully sticky flame this guy. But uh, Flame Tongue is still a pretty good spell in the dungeon. Um, and uh, yeah, as you saw, it was perfectly capable of taking out that uh, Phantom. Um, and it only took a little bit more MP than a sink. So, like, it's. Is it more MP efficient or less? Probably less MP efficient to use um, Sticky Flame. Uh, it's a lot more time efficient, uh, which is why we're mostly using that. Plus, it never misses, which is nice. Yikes. Uh, that's more bees than I thought there would be. Let's, um. Let's do this. Okay. And can I get a fireball right there, please? Mm, not quite. Oh yeah, that'll do. See you later, you stupid killer bees. We'll just go upstairs a bit to rest, and back down. Uh, we'll have him walk into the fire, and that's fine. Yeah, Conjure Flame is easily the most MP efficient way we have to deal with monsters. Um, the trouble is that it um, that for most monsters you can't actually do that. Right, they're too smart to walk into the fire. Um, but for monsters where it's an option, it's a real good one. I'm going to try not to uh, lean too heavily on my mushrooms at this point, since we demonstrated that we can handle things without them. And uh, if I can avoid endangering them, all the better. But, of course, I want to make sure not to let... What the hell is all this? Yaktar? Dungeon 12? This makes no sense. Knolls also makes no sense. The Knoll puts on a ring of loudness. <laughs> it's very funny. Hmm. What is this all about? It was a very strange set of monsters to see on Dungeon 12. So there's clearly some kind of vault here, but I don't know what conclusions I can draw from that. Uh, well... Okay, thing number one is, since we are apparently in some kind of danger, Let's make more mushrooms. And the gnolls are like annoying, but not terribly dangerous, I think. So let's just try to blow them all up. Right. The yaktar is the real issue here. Where do I stand to... Um, maximize the damage that we're doing and minimize the damage that we're taking. That's what you always want to think, be thinking about in Crawl, right? More or less. Mm. I'd like to get Sticky Flame on the, the Yaktar, but that's real hard, right? So, alternatively, what if I, could I fireball him if I wanted? I could. 
But I don't want to, because that would get the Knoll killed. And right now the Knoll is acting as a shield between me and the Actar shooting at me. And that's the main threat, is the Actar shooting at me. So... How much recharging do we have? Seven? All right, let's haste up. I mean, one Yaktar, mm, we maybe don't need haste, but we maybe do. But the problem is, like, the situation is very much unknown. And I'd rather, since I have, like, basically an unlimited supply of haste, the situation could turn dangerous very quickly. It could turn more dangerous, since, indeed, it really is already dangerous with the one Yaktar around. So I could land a fireball that hits all these guys, which is promising. And then maybe shut the door? Yeah. As predicted, as soon as I did that, he shot me uh, pretty good. But he's the only one who can open the door. Ah. But when he opened the door... He let the shadow in. Very funny. Um, I wish I had Bolt of Fire, of course, but I don't have it. Let's try a Wand of Lightning, I think. There's another Yaktar back there. Yikes. We did succeed in killing the shadow, which is good and bad. Now they can reach us. The Yaktars, that is. Let's set this space on fire? Yeah, I think that should be okay. Okay, guys, we need to, uh, we need to back up a little, please. More monsters are just walking into the fire, which is great, I guess. Can we come up here? Okay, good. Ugh, please don't like be so far away. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come around the corner, please. That is a knoll. I am not too concerned about the knoll. Okay, there's both Yaktars still here. I really... Okay, sounds like we just killed one. Alright, there's still two Yaktars. Holy cow. Alright, let's, let's fireball these two, I guess. Yeah, again, we'll fireball all three of them. Right, Yaktar down, Manticore down. One more fireball for good measure. Prey. Oh yeah, look at all that juicy goodness. So what I'm learning from this is that I'm starting to get into situations where fireball is quite helpful. Um, so I'm going to train that. And uh, dodging is getting pretty expensive right now, so I'm going to give that a break. Uh, let's make another mushroom. Where is this knoll? Over to the east. Yeah, there he goes. All right, so there's more to it. Uh, ooh, ooh, eh, uh, uh, this would be a big investment. Big, big investment to get any of this stuff online. You know, as a felid, like, felid form is a really bad form, right? Um, so felids are sort of encouraged more than other uh, races to, well, it's not the worst, because you do have the speed, of course, but overall, it's not so great to be uh, cat-shaped. Um, so they're sort of encouraged more than many races are. 
to learn transmutations. Ugh, come on, guys, up here. There we go. Um, and furthermore, you can't use weapons, so bolts. What? All right, there's another Yaktar just around this corner, I guess. Yes. Yeah, you're having trouble shooting me now, aren't you? How do you like them statues? All right, we got them. Let's let's eat them. Um, anyway, since you can only use unarmed combat anyway, there's uh, in terms of melee, that is. There's even more incentive to get better unarmed combat, uh, which is basically what trans transmutations is. It's like weapons you can use while you're unarmed, sort of. Uh, Dungeon 12 is getting a little bit nasty, isn't it? You know what? Let's just go. I'm curious about what all this stuff over here is, but I see even more stuff I don't like in that neighborhood, so we'll just have to come back later. Um, anyway, so, but the thing is that um, we're already training two magic schools, Conjurations and Fire Magic. Uh, and if we wanted to train to, to use transmutations, we'd need to train some transmutations and train unarmed combat, which is a lot to divert from our current core skills. Could it be worthwhile? Well, I mean, statue form is pretty good. You get a lot of armor, way more than a feelid can ever really get otherwise. Um, for some other races, that's not really true. You, loo you, know, you lose armor that um, because you can't wear uh, you can't wear armor, and so you lose some AC. Um, but that downside does not exist for felids or octopodes. Um, what do you get out of here, man? Catch fire. Again, okay. Uh, it's just like it's so expensive to train, um, and I don't, I don't know if we really. Cause like we need invocations, fighting, dodging, and at least two magic schools, and we're gonna want some stealth eventually. But stealth trains so cheap that I don't think it's worth worrying too much about it. Um, I'll want translocations probably. I usually do. Did I leave a mushroom downstairs? Oh, no, because Orc is on 12. Okay. On Dungeon 12, rather. Okay. Well, we only got through like one and a half floors of the dungeon here, but uh, I don't want to I don't want to start diving into Orc this episode. We'll, we'll do that next episode. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.